Hey guys, happy Sunday to you. I'm being guided to try a few different decks today, so I'm just going to start reading. And then I'll send out Reiki as we hear these messages of what we need. So first one's going to be with the Notes of the Universe, Mike Dooley. Love that. <laughs> I love this deck. All right, here we go. Love this card. I've had it many times in the past. Makes complete sense. Create space for new loves. Sending out to our hearts. When a thing hurts your eyes, stop looking at it. When it hurts your ears, stop listening to it. And when it hurts your heart, stop justifying it. And it just says, I love you so much. Boy, that's pretty simple, but extremely powerful. Sending out to our hearts. Yes, we're in control of that. We can make the decision of what we let into our lives. And if it's a situation where you can't, definitely making plans for when you can. All right. Denise Lynn, Sacred Forest. Oh, hummingbird was right on top. I'm not going to do it, though. We're going to shake it up. What is it we need out of the Denise Lynn, Sacred Forest? Oh, my gosh. I missed this deck. So pretty. All right. Aspen Spirit. Courage. Yes, sometimes we need courage to make changes, for sure. So we're going to send to the root chakra for courage. And the solar plexus. Let's do both. If the Aspen Spirit card has shown up in your life today, it brings you a message of courage, protection, community, and the ability to face and overcome obstacles in your life. Know that you are protected and you are safe. You are ready to step forward with courage and grace, no matter what seems to be blocking your way. The spirit of the Aspen says, the energy of your inner spiritual warrior is ready to step forward to face any challenges or blockages in life. Be willing to accept help and be fearless. All right. <laughs> Okay, so just grounding that in. And this is Work Your Light, Rebecca Campbell. All right. Align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? Sending out to our third eye for clarity. What in your life is no longer in alignment with who you truly are? We are cyclic, cyclic beings in a constant state of change, of evolution, of growth. Change is one of the only certainties in life. When you resist your cyclic nature, you're resi you resist life and feel stuck. Many of us have learned to be who the world wants us to be but there comes a time when it's harder to hold on to this facade than to embrace who we truly are. To surrender to how we've changed and align life to that way of being. If you pulled this card, you are being called to let go of who you once were or the things that once defined yourself, the job, relationship, the mask. The mask you wore and to embrace who you truly are now. To courageously step into the person that you came here to be in full authenticity. To embrace your weirdness and your uniqueness. Perhaps you've outgrown some relationships or circumstances and it's time to reassess and bring all the parts of your life into alignment so that they are congruent with who you truly are today. What is in your life is not aligned or needs to change? Wow, that's a big question to ponder. In this full moon energy of really letting go.
And maybe it's just old habits. It doesn't always have to be a person. It doesn't have to be a job. It can be some of our habits, our negative thought patterns, all those types of things. So let's go for the next one. We're going to go for the angel guide. It's the angel guide oracle with Kyle Gray. Trust the universe. Wow, look at that picture. Ooh. <laughs> Wild. All right, so trust the universe. Here we go. Sending out to our solar plexus. Although your faith may be challenged now, trust the universe. There's a reason for some of the experiences you've been going through recently. There are no coincidences in life, and everything is unfolding perfectly according to the divine plan. Positive opportunities are coming your way. Trust in the process and the path you're being led down. You'll know when it's right and the path is your you'll know you'll know it is the right path when you experience synchronicities and other signs and wonders. These are messages reminding you to trust the universe. There is no such thing as chance. All is well. All is guided. If you lose an opportunity or feel you've been shut down, know that this is the work of God and the angels, and it is right for you. If you're wondering where you go from here, know that when you ask the universe for a sign, it will show up at the moment that you are on the right path. You are being guided by angels to stop questioning everything that is occurring at this time and let the miraculous support you deserve show up. Trust that you de you are deserving of good experiences because you are, and the universe will deliver them to you. So yes, we're just going to say all is well, and we are enough, and everything we need is coming to us now. I love that. So I'm just grounding this in. If you guys want to go ahead, and we'll just ground by tapping on our cheeks. Put your fingers together and just tap and breathe. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll be back again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.